we're attempting to trade this Rambler, which I've been very unsuccessful in selling, for the guy's got a late 70s Mustang, which yes, I know it's ugly, but I don't care, and a 78 Olds. Don't know, I haven't seen pictures or anything of the other two cars, but they're complete cars, and I would rather have two complete American-made car. Well, this is also American-made. Two complete common cars than this, because I can't get parts for this. So we're gonna go see if we can make a trade happen. Also, the Rambler is ugly too, so I don't know why I'm using that as an argument. This is not a late '70s Mustang, like we were originally told. This is a '89. Ford Mustang Fox Body 5.0 with a manual transmission. As you can tell, it is covered in thorn bushes. So this was fun to get out of there. Here is the Oldsmobile. It is a 1978 Oldsmobile 98 four-door. We had no idea what we were in for, didn't know what these cars were, but we're planning on dragging the Mustang out, winching back there, pulling it out with a truck and trailer and loading it forward, and the same thing with the other car. Jump in it and just try to steer it out and around.
We're back for round two. We are getting this 78 Oldsmobile out of its resting site and onto the trailer. This one has been here far longer than the Mustang, we think, just based on the amount of weeds that are around it, and trees. Pick the back on up and just chain it this car and just drag it over. That is absolutely a thing we can do. Yeah. the easiest thing is probably just to pull it. Well, I can't. I'm trying to get to it so I can put the chain to it. Oh. I ain't tearing myself up. Get in here too. Well, we've moved it forward, got it out of most of the bushes. Now we're going to see if we can load her up. It's very difficult to film and hold a flashlight and do all that. So sorry for, so sorry for the bad footage. We're doing the best we can. We missed the ramp by just a smidge. So we're going to pull the whole sheet match forward and that should correct it. Maybe a smidge more? That's looking better. I think that'll work. a few hiccups we finally got it loaded we did have a muffler casualty but it's out of there now the reason that this one was parked according to the guy that we got these from is because they could not find a carburetor and it was too expensive so they let it sit I'm gonna open up the doors It is really smelly in here, so don't particularly like to be in here longer than I have to be. It is missing some dash trim. There's a rust spot in the floor. This was a very high dollar car back in the day. That's some nice intricate plastic tooling going on there. Lots of, looks like power seats. AC car. Here's the back. Big old nice plushy seats. I've got a lot of cleaning and throwing away of just garbage to do. I've nicknamed this car the Moss Mobile. 
you can see why. We'll open this up just to show you. <laughs> the last tag receipts on this car said that it was on the road in 2005 and 2006, so it really hasn't been sitting that long compared to some of the other vehicles that we've got in. All right, let's go check out the Mustang. Daniel has already started trying to get this one to run. He took off the fan and fan spacer so that he could get on this pulley and try to turn the engine over. But it does have the 5.0 motor in there, the high output motor. Let's open this one up. This one has a very unique smell. It smells like just ammonia, like a pea smell. I hope that comes out when I start cleaning this. The bushes that it was in really did preserve the seats. A lot of the Fox Body Mustangs that we see around here for sale have just garbage interior. open this up. Vintage sewing machine over there. Well, not too vintage, but an older model sewing machine. But there we are. The objective with these two cars is to get them cleaned, exterior and interior, which is going to take me a little bit to get both of them done because they need some thorough cleaning jobs. After they're cleaned or in the process of being cleaned, Daniel's going to try to get them running. We're curious to see if the Mustang is stock or not, but all that will be in a separate video. But for now, we just wanted to show you guys an overview and how we got them out of the weeds.